Jong Sanang. Jong Sanang is 19 years of age and the tactician is 22, but the number of fights much the same. In fact, the wooden man's fought more fights, 72, in his short, in his, uh, short career. And uh, he'll be defending his championship against the tactician Turdicat. Turdicat there bowing down three times, paying, uh, getting his mind sharp and ready for the fight ahead, drawing on those inner reserves that the ties have known, uh, have shown in the ring before. This will be interesting. Let's see how the wooden man goes against uh, the tactician. On round one there, though, both fighters have come out hard. Wooden man catching and kicking there. It's a powerful kick, the wooden man. That's the wooden man trying to get his uh, his opponent tactician off balance by kicking on the inside of the calf. He's trying not... to get him off balance. Very collared flower ears there, and the wooden man obviously trains long and hard, and he must be working on those grappling holds a lot, Patrick, to, to build up those cauliflower ears to such an extent. Well, he's, he's fought 70, 72 fights, so he's probably had a few blows to absorb too on the, on the, from punches. Yes, I think a couple of those elbows might have added to those ears. Let's look at Turdy Cat now. Turdy Cat taking up the fight to the wooden man. The wooden man showing great strength with his leg kicks. Leg kick back by Turdy Cat. Elbows there from the champion. High one up to the jaw. Yes, the wooden man looking very focused, concentrating, greatly trying to find the gaps in the tactician's defence. Both fighters exchange with the hands now. The champ moves back. Ooh, left hook there. Mary missed the mark. Both punches are, uh, both fighters are showing they're prepared to use the punch techniques. Yes, there hasn't been much emphasis uh, throughout the uh, the tie boxing uh, displays of uh, of boxing uh, from upper stance, but therefore he used uh, eight weapons: two feet, two elbows, two legs, two knees. Two knees. So therefore, uh, you got all those weapons, you might as well use them. Whereas in, in just standard boxing, you've only got two arms. Two arms and two punches, mate. But the two punch with the hands, but the, the extra weapons of Muay Thai means it's a different sort of sport entirely. Yes, well, they can use their punch, the end of their fist, as well as their elbow, so they can use uh, Extension. Two, two scoring uh, punches with their arms. Well, Turdy Cat's taken the fight up to uh, the wooden man. The wooden man is showing a lot of strength, but... Uh, Teddy Kid's going to have to use all these tactics he can think of. He's reassuring himself just there that he wants to think about it through. How is he going to get inside the wooden man? Yes, well, the wooden man looking uh, the more relaxed of the two competitors, picking his shots much, much better than the tactician. He's looking extremely confident, the wooden man. Early stages yet, though, Patrick. Both fighters still to get up to full speed here, even though it's been quite a hard first round. I believe that they'll come out a lot harder in rounds two and three once they've had a chance to feel each other out. Yes, all these contests have been up around the second and third rounds. First round's really a feeling out process. Both fighters throwing those elbows now. End of round one. Yes, an acknowledgement by both competitors there. Yeah. Uh, after you've thrown three elbows, you, you, you turn around and say you're still your mate.
post contest and uh, the wooden man uh, looking the more relaxed of the two competitors but uh, still early stages. Well, let's see what the, the tactician can do in round two to stop the wooden man. And we're straight back into the action here. The fighters exchanging with the legs now in this second round. The challenger comes inside the thigh. Wooden man, oh, high low with the hands and legs. Yes, and you see the tactician there standing on the outside. Waiting too long, I believe. I really believe he should pounce on the wooden man in order to get, get back into this contest. Elbows again from the challenger. And the wooden man ties him up. The end of the hip there. Well, tactician's starting to catch the champion's legs a little bit there, Patrick. Yeah, the tactician... Um He's, he's, he's trying to work out, he, he doesn't know, quite know whether to go long range or short range. I fear that if he gets in the short range, Jill, uh, Johnson Young's elbows uh, could cause a lot of damage to him, but at the same time he can't hang back too long. He's in a quandary really, he doesn't, he, he's got to take this fight up to him, he doesn't know whether to do it in long term or short range. You can see that he's moving around, gives a chance, he's got the wooden man's leg and pushes him back and throws the knee in. Ready cap. Here's a little bit of a remark of a smile there from the tactician. I wouldn't be smiling. i will be in there trying to score those points and get that title off the wooden man. Comes there, close range, and he puts the wooden man down. The wooden man slipped then, I think. Well, the referee ruled it a slip. He didn't give an eight count. Here comes the tactician. The wooden man coming in on him. Into a grapple. I wouldn't go to the grapple if I was a tactician. I think the wooden man would be far too strong in the grappling contests. Both players starting to mix up with the knees and legs now. Wooden man stalking the tactician. As you see, the wooden man hasn't changed the expression from round one. He's still very focused. Still picking the shots a lot better. I believe the uh, tactician should jump on the wooden man. Attack him in flurries. It's easy for me to say out here. Wooden man's looking for the chance of getting in and going for the grapple, but um, the tactician's been able to keep him away so far. Oh, a nice manoeuvre there as the wooden man grabbed the leg of Tedicate and then used a leg kick to put him down. Closing stage of the second round now. In round, round two. two. Interesting round that one. I thought the tactician, um, living up to his name, was trying a different variety. He's trying to find a weakness in the wooden man, but I didn't see, see many at all. In fact, it was the wooden man that uh, really sort of showed his strength and his ability when he up, upended the tactician with that leg kick. Yes, well, the, uh, the, the wooden man was... He was more in control, I believe, and uh, he seemed to control things a lot better. But the uh, the tactician came into the uh, the later sta stages that last uh, round, and uh, you know I believe he's still in this contest. Yeah, I, I don't, don't believe by any not, let's not to underrate the tactician. No, he's he's um, he's a number one challenger, and he's shown by his fight record of only losing 13 fights out of 65 that he is a worthy um, challenger, and he has to work it out the next three rounds how he can get the points advantage over the wooden man. A difficult task but certainly not beyond him. Some replays here from the overhand view of the in close knees. There's that slip there from the champion. That's that very clever catch nice up there. The wooden man's taken him down. Yes, he was very lucky there that the rope uh, enabled his uh, head not to hit the canvas there, the bottom rope. As we see it again on the replay, he's very lucky. Ooh, you see Tertica straight up on his feet and holds his hands in the air to say, that's not enough to stop me, pal. Round three. 
Barry, can the tactician turn this fight around? I think the champion really needs to turn the heat up in this round and exert himself. Four, flying knee, elbow charge. Knee there from the wooden man. The wooden man looking very serious at the moment as he comes in on the, on the, on the tactician. He's just marching straight in, Patrick, over those punching, kicking combinations there from the tactician. You can see how he earns his name. He doesn't show any respect for the other opponent's techniques. Oh, that's what you call kicking ass. Well, the wooden man there, and he's knocked him down twice in as many seconds. He's really starting to exert himself now. Push kick there from the champion. He's got the tactician on the back pedal. Yes, applying the pressure greatly. The uh, the wooden man, the tactician, is on the on the reply there, throwing a kick up the middle, but just not finding the mark as good as the wooden man. Wooden man and the tactician in a, in a grappling duel. And up goes the knee from the wooden man. Tactician being pushed back into the corner. Here comes Teddy Goat coming back into the fight. He's got the wooden man. And then nice, nicely done by the tactician. A big smile there from the tactician. He's happy with his manoeuvre then. He got the wooden man off balance and then kicked out both legs. Both fighters charging straight back into the fray. They've tied up in the center of the ring. The wooden man and the tactician exchanging the knees. Man puts the knee in from the clinch. The referee's going to break the fighters and bring them off the rope. No, 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 no. Halfway through round three. No, no, no. IMF championship contest. Knee no, no, no. there by the knees to the body. Well, the tactician just threw the wooden man down there. He's got a bit of strength himself there, Jeff. Yes, he's shown uh, a great uh, barrage of uh, strength and kicks here. But I dare say he should do a lot more of it. The wooden man seems to be finding the mark still a lot much better than the, uh, the tactician. Wooden man throwing, showing his knee techniques again. Another good one there from the wooden man. Not long remaining in this third round. A little bit of a flicking jab here. Not much emphasis on the boxing technique here. More kicking and elbowing. Nice knee there by Teddy Cat. And a roundhouse by Johnson um, coming back into it. Exchange of knees by the challenging champion. And around three there. And Johnson uh, looked at Teddy Cat and said, you're going down. I think he was sort of, he's had enough of this. I think yeah. that this next round, I think you're going to find Johnson and get going. He's, he's, he's starting to uh, wonder what in the hell he's doing out there because he's, he believes he's the champion of the world and uh, he's not showing much respect for Teddy Cat, but he still has to win the fight. And you either do it two ways, by points or by knockout. But I think that the way, the determination shown by the wooden man that he just might have a go this next round. Yes, we'll let a uh, little bit of a glare at the end of that fourth round there. Well, uh, we soon seen that uh, the wooden man is a is a very uh, hyped up customer, and uh, he's willing to take uh, the tactician out. I'll see the uh, the tactician sitting down there. He's he's, tr he's been working on his leg, massaging his leg, trying to uh, revive him for this fourth and fifth round. He needs to. Uh, I believe that the uh, wooden man's ahead on points at this stage, but there's very little in it, and the next two rounds will, be, will decide the issue. Yes, it'll be very interesting to see uh, if the wooden man comes out. Here we see in the replay here. Uh, knee there from the wooden man, the tactician, applying back with a kick, and as he just throws him across the ring, oh, a bit of a uh, low blow there by the leg. The wooden man came in. Showing very little respect for the tactician as he pushed him down. But here comes Teddy Cat back and does the same thing. So both fighters are able to, to bring their opponents down with those leg kicks. Look at that in slow motion. There he goes, the wooden man bringing Teddy Cat down and uh, showing his strength. <coughs> Round four coming up.
This will, this will be a very vital round for the tactician, I believe. He, if he can uh, withstand the onslaught that I believe the uh, wooden man will issue in this vital fourth round. We're back in around four now. The wooden man opens up with a kick to the body there. Another push kick there. Another one to the tactician. And that makes three. Throws in with a the knee there. Caught that tip kick from the tactician. Tied up and thrown back with a knee of his own. This round sees both fighters in top gear, Patrick. Well, you see there the way both the way the Turdicat, the tactician, is trying to grab the leg of Johnson, but he can't grab him. He's too strong. And tied up on the ropes there, exchanging the knees. The referee slings shots and back to the centre of the ring. Nice knee there as Turdicat breaks out of the clinch. Tonight, Patrick, I've been impressed by the fighters, but also the referees. They've controlled these fights with a minimum of fuss tonight. Obviously, they're a very experienced team they've brought out from Thailand. Yes, the uh, all referees here tonight have, uh, have let the action go and haven't pulled it up at all. And it's been very entertaining for the people here tonight and the, and the viewers watching around. Here comes Johnson on down, in on the attack. Judica defends. The wooden man stalking his opponent and throws the roundhouse kick. It looks to me as if the wooden man doesn't quite have the strength that he had in the, the opening two rounds. No, he, he seems to be a bit apprehensive. He's waiting on the outside. I really believe that the uh, tactician should jump on him and take advantage of this. Pushing kick there from the tactician. Good man stalks him again on the ropes. They're doing what they call the grapple. The tie grapple. It's where you grapple your opponent and, and try to use your knees to take the advantage. There he is in, in the grapple and uh, it's turning it almost through uh, the wooden man then. 30 seconds remaining in this fourth round now. The ref breaks him and brings him off the ropes. Yes, and you can see that those uh, inside kicks to the midsection are, uh, are fully loaded as the red marks around the tactician's volley line there. What's a tactician can he do now? He's trying to do a Muhammad Ali, Ali shuffle there, Jeff. Well, I don't think that's going to help him much. There's only one of our lead. The tactician certainly isn't it. In the round four, well, the, the tactician's put his hands up. He uh, obviously believes he's uh, won that round, but I think it might be a bit of wishful thinking. I think the, the wooden man has, uh, certainly showed that he has the strength to take any of the any of the attacks that the, the tactician might put up against him. Yes, but well, the wooden man seemed to die off a little bit in the latter stages of the fourth. Uh, I, I feel that the uh, tactician should have pounced on him and took advantage of that. But uh, nevertheless, we're going into the fifth round, final and fifth, and still only one's contest. I believe it has been a very close contest so far. And I think the fifth round will decide it. Uh, Jeff, um, how do you see it, Justin? I think it's been very close. So I favour the champion at this stage. He's been a little bit more aggressive, and he's forced the tactician under the ropes, into the corners, and the difficult positions in the ring. But uh, I'm not too keen to make a prediction after me. The last two have been wrong. I'll keep it to myself. We've all been wrong there with our decision making on, on the outcome, but. Uh, it would seem that, at least on face value, that the, the champion here seems to be um, doing the right things to... He's been doing enough anyway to, to retain his belt. But, but it, this is the fifth and, and vital round that will, will decide the issue once and for all. Yeah. You see here in the replay, both competitors exchanging kicks to the midsection. Position coming up in the middle there. Those kicks are known as the roundhouse kick. And by sitting here at ringside, every one of those roundhouse kicks are loaded by all competitors. Yeah, they're, they're, they, they throw them at speeds well in excess of 100 kilometres an hour. 
and um, there's a couple of people who have timed it and they say that, uh, that the, the Thai roundhouse kick is in fact the fastest kicking style of any martial art in the world. In fact the legendary Bruce Lee went to Thailand to learn to do the, um, the roundhouse kicks. The fifth and final round. Seconds out. In the yellow, yellow. Challenger against the wooden man Johnson and wearing the red trunks. Back into the action here now. The tactician scoring with a couple of front kicks there early. And the wooden man comes back with a roundhouse one of his own and a strong push kick there. One of these fighters is going to be the champion of the world. It's very close at this stage. Throws a roundhouse kick being his change here. The wooden man comes over the top of the right hand. Yeah, that's a very smart move there by the wooden man. Kick to the midsection and a little sharp chopping right from over the top. We passed double combination there from the tactician. Good hard kick to the inside leg there. He's looking a bit more settled in this round, the tactician. He's come out well and he's, he's done some nice work out there. He's, he's uh, been able to take everything that the wooden man's given him, but now he's trying to see if he can convert that into an advantage in this final fifth round. Because as we saw before, it's the ringmaster that the judges want to know about and how the decision's made on who wins the contest. That's what I believe, the tactician can't stay on the outside. He must get in there, mix it up with the uh, wooden man in order to score those points and maybe get that uh, freak knockout. Saw a strong push kick there from the champion. He drove him back into his own corner. The tactician doesn't seem to be too worried about it. They've come back. The wooden man's chasing him around the ring now. Now the tactician drives him backwards. Very even fifth round so far. The kicking power of the wooden man. Both fighters stalking now, exchanging roundhouse kicks, the wooden man caught that one, threw him back on the ropes, a flying knee, couldn't take him down though. A little bit of blood coming from the tactician's mouth now. We've well, got to give it to the tactician, he's taken everything that the wooden man can give him and he's still smiling. Yes, as, as we can see there on the tactician, big grin there, but a the little bit of blood trickling from the tongue. So obviously the wooden man has found the mark upstairs. I think he, uh, he might not be bleeding from inside the gums and the tongue there, Jeff, if he kept that mouth guard in the whole fight. Yes, well, that's a uh, fairly good indication why, why you wear a mouth guard. Stop you from cutting your mouth. But uh, these guys, uh, like you said, cut them, they know what they're doing. Well, they seem to. If you ask me, they don't know what they're doing if they're not wearing a mouth guard. The wooden man in the red, the champion of the world, up against the challenge from the tactician Curdy Cap, wearing the yellow trunk. Well, the tactician's calling him a little bit there. He's got his hands down, he's smiling at him. Bobbing his head in time and he's it. End of the fight. I believe he's won it. We'll have to go to the judges for their decision. Well, very even. I, I, the, the, uh, the, the, the tactician's camp is very, very confident. Very confident. Yes, with both corners acknowledging that they have won the contest. We'll just have to the wait for the, the wooden judges. man got his hand up. He hasn't conceded it by any means. Yeah, well, they put the garlands around the tactician. He's, he's camped very, very confident winning this one. Well, let's wait on the decision now. Waiting on the decision from the judges. We've been wrong. Well, who are you going to say quickly, uh, Jeff? Who do, you, who, who do you think won? I'll go for break. I'll go the yellow. Yellow Got short. The in the uh, blue Justin. corner. Well, I, I feel that the, uh, the challenger won that last round and threw the leg combinations a little bit more. I feel for draw, Patrick. I can't pick it. Going for draw. I'm, I'm going for the wooden man. Oh, they make it probably make me three wrong out of three out of three fights. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we do have a judge's decision, and the winner of the bout and the champion, Red Johnson. Well, one out of three ain't bad. You were right, Captain. Johnson, I won it. Well, I, I think he did enough. He, he was strong. He, he, he was. He